So, grand noon, y'all. Um, came here to clarify a dream that I had. All right, y'all know how I am about my dreams and my visions. So, um, this particular dream I had last night was kind of off balance. It didn't really make sense. So, in the dream, I was at some event, right? And I was sitting at a table, and it was other people sitting there, but it was this one lady that stood out to me particular. Um, she was very light brown skin, older woman. She was older than me. Um, she was asking me all kind of questions, though. You know, asking me questions that I was like, I'm not answering that question because you're asking me too many questions or whatever. So um, she had a husband or a man that came. I think this man was her husband. He was an older guy. And um, he came back to the table or whatever. And she was like, all right, you can get up now so my husband can sit down. And I was about to get up. But then I thought about it. I was like, hold on. I don't even like how you talking to me. I ain't getting up and going nowhere. Go get another chair. So she got mad and was like, oh, you going to get up? I said, well, who going to move me? And um, she started ranting and doing all that. And I, stood, and I sat there. I was like, I'm not getting up. And somebody was like, just go on and give her the chair. I said, I'm not giving her nothing. Because I don't know who she thinks she's talking to. You ain't finna talk to me crazy. And then I'm just going to get up. She better. And I pointed across the room to another table where it wasn't hardly nobody sitting. I said, she better go over there and get one of them chairs. And I didn't. I wouldn't get up. So I had a dream the night before. And it was about a physical confrontation. I already know what that dream was about and why I had it. So I'm really not going to discuss that. But this one is like, okay, what's up? So then I kept seeing visions of a scorpion. And... I seen one again today. And when I see a vision of a scorpion, to me, that, that says that um, it's a Judas around. Okay, because we know that Judas represented Scorpio in the Bible. Which was why, when at the time he betrayed Jesus for the 30 pieces of silver, which the 30 pieces of silver represented the 30 months, uh, the 30 days of the month. Um, and his death represented the de his death and the death of Jesus represented the coming season of Sagittarius. So in tarot, um, the death represents Scorpio. Okay, the sting of death. Scorpio, it stings. So this is why all of this makes sense to me in my waking of life now that I've got rid of abandoned religious beliefs and started understanding the astrological side of everything. So anyway, I did a flip on it. So I got the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the King of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Three of Swords with the Hierophant and the Magician is the um, overall energy. So the first thing that I got out of this is that somebody is mad because somebody is giving them advice to um, avoid their toxic situation, uh, being in a toxic situation with them. Okay, so of course, in this reading, the energy I get with the Ace of Pentacles means two things. It means somebody is giving somebody something that's helping them elevate in their lives. And it also means a higher level of commitment. Okay, and the reason why I say that is because you have the Four of Wands here. And this is all about a stable foundation. This represents twin flame energy. This represents... um. It could represent engagement, marriages, and stuff like that. Somebody starting a relationship or trying to go to a higher level of commitment. So then you got the Seven of Cups, which tells me somebody trying to figure out what the hell going on, you know, with their situation. So then you got the King of Swords. And then you have the Queen of Wands. <clears throat> so what I get out of this is that this um, King of Swords is um, not... It's, it's, it's turning down an offer from this queen of king of queen of wands and cutting this queen of wands out the picture. Okay, this queen of wands ain't liking that. This queen of wands ain't liking that. Okay, so they're trying to figure out why this person acting different. You know what's going on with this person. Okay, so obviously they've been talking, getting advice from somebody or talking to somebody that's um maybe older than them or, you know, that's giving them uh, um, some wise advice with this hair fine here. This is also about religious factors as well. So this person, this queen of wands could be a religious person or could be somebody that's pretending to be a conscious person and they're really not. Okay. They may still be stuck between the world of consciousness and religion. And then you got the magician. So this person is trying to figure out what's going on with this situation. Okay. 
So now what I would like to do is clarify this, okay? So I think I'm going to use my tarot. This, 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 this deck right here. This is really good. This is looking like somebody is really feeling some type of way about somebody not accepting their offer because it's toxic, okay? What is the energy and the messages of the Ace of Pentacles, Sacred Ancestors, Gods of the Cosmos? Calling in a quantum energy of the Ace of Pentacles. And I have judgment. So somebody is making a conscious decision not to offer a commitment to this relationship or situation or whatever it was. Okay, what is the energy and the messages of the King of Swords? Okay, I hate when that happens. That's too much. I'm not going to take all of that. Okay, so whoever this part, yeah, this King of Swords is cutting out a situation that um, there could, could, could be a family situation. Somebody that may have kids with this person, um, they could be cutting out a situation from. And then you have the World card. So this King of Swords is cutting out somebody and starting something new. They're going in a different direction. And this Queen of Wands is not liking that. They ain't liking it. They mad. They jealous. They, they hurt. They like, what the hell happened? Obviously, with this magician card and this hair font, they thought that they had this situation in the pocket under control. So it's not, it, but it's not like that. So I'm getting energy from somewhere and somebody, and this is looking like this is what it is. Okay, what is the energy and the messages of the Seven of Cups? Sacred and, oh, woo! Somebody avoided a toxic situation. Ten of Swords, somebody avoided a toxic situation and they are walking away from whatever this option is and they are moving on to something else in their lives that's more healing. They're making wiser decisions with this hair fine here. So somebody is making wiser decisions about whether they should walk into a situation or not. They're not walking into it. They're, they've moved on to other things and exploring other things in their lives. Okay. And this is what's going to bring this person what they really want. A more solid and stable foundation. Possibly even engagement, marriage, or a solid commitment along the way of them doing whatever they're doing, whatever journey they're on, which is looking like a spiritual journey with this hair font here and energy here. So this could be somebody I may have even did a reading on. This is why I'm getting this energy. Or it could be it apply to anybody. But this Ten of Swords with the Seven of Cups, somebody definitely avoided going into a toxic situation. So kudos to whoever you are. I know damn well it ain't me because I ain't going. <laughs> feel me? <laughs> you feel me? Okay. Um, what is the energy and the messages of the Four of Wands? Okay, look. This is deep right here, y'all. Look at that. Okay, so you have the Seven of Pentacles. In reverse, the Eight of Swords in reverse, and the Hierophant in reverse. So this person may have been may have been getting ready to walk into a bad situation, not even knowing it. But now this person can see that it would have been a waste of their time. They're not even. I don't even know if this person is even talking. If they are talking to this person, they're barely talking to them. Um, this person could be sending them messages, text messages, leaving messages on a phone, and this person may not be responding with the Eight of Swords in reverse. This person is no longer in their head about the situation. Oh, it's in reverse. It's in reverse. They're not even in their head about this um, situation. Whoever was trying to get a commitment or, or, or offer a commitment, a solid commitment. Somebody could have been after marriage. Somebody could have been trying to move in together, you know, and start a whole family situation, a whole, whole family dynamic with this Ten of Cups here. But this King of Swords cut it. They, they cut all that out. They, nope. Nope. I, I can't even do it. I can't even do it. <laughs> they cut all that out. Okay? They spoke their truth. They cut all that out. And they moved on to something else in life. They, they moved on to something else. And this Queen of Swords is mad as hell. This Queen of Swords might want to fight. They want to fight. <laughs> okay. All right. So now, what is the energy and the messages of the Queen of Wands? What is the energy and the messages of the Queen of Wands? Sacred ancestors, guys of the cosmos, calling in the quantum energy of the Queen of Wands. Give me clarity on this message and the energy of the Queen of Wands. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. All right. Well, let's see what this thing. Okay. I hate when this happened too. Turn these back around. Okay. Wow. The moon in reverse, the four of wands in reverse, and the three of cups in reverse. Okay. Um, this person is um 
they're upset. This person is mad as hell. They definitely, and they, they mad. Put it that way. They are not, they are angry. This queen of wands is angry with this four of wands in reverse that they're, they did not get what they wanted out of this situation. And this could have been somebody in the three part with this three of cups in reverse. Whoever they were trying to get to come into a solid commitment with them could have already either been married, maybe getting a divorce coming out of a marriage or already divorced just just uh, recently divorced or just recently broke up from somebody they may have been living with or had a solid commitment with and this person may have wanted them to come and get directly into a relationship with them because this queen of wands is all about movement this queen of wands don't sit around the queen of wands want what it want and then you have the uh, moon in reverse okay so this person is not controlling their feelings at all they're mad they letting it be known they are not like in this situation right here so if any of y'all getting any negative text messages or any argument of text messages from somebody that you decided not to deal with no more because they were asking you for something you wasn't ready for or you didn't feel like you wanted at the time baby let me tell you something they mad you got this three of swords here they are mad Okay, with the three of cups in reverse and the three of swords upright, this tells me that there was, and then you got the four of wands with the queen of wands, you have the four of wands in reverse. This is somebody who had, they, they're mad at whoever this is was either married or just divorced and this person knew about this other person, this other situation because the moon is in reverse. So this queen of wands knew about everything that was going on and they did not get what they thought they was going to get out of this and they are mad. They mad, baby. They mad. Mad. Okay? I keep hearing, um, I'm hearing Whitney Houston. Um, uh, uh, how that song go? So take me, I'm your prisoner. Well, will you sentence me? I want to be your lover for life. Something like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Your lover for life. Lover for life. This person thought they was going to take the place. Of whatever this person just either came out of or was coming out of. <laughs> they wanted to be that person's lover for life. Okay? But it ain't go down like that. Didn't go down like that. Okay, with this hair fine. What is the energy in the messages of the hair fine? What is the energy in the messages of the hair fine? Sacred ancestors, gods of cosmos. Call it in the quantum energy of the hair fine. <clears throat> well... You got the chariot that, that popped out. Look at that. All right. So you got the chariot that came out with the queen of wands and the eight of pentacles. This person stopped putting in or investing their feelings and their time in this queen of wands, whoever this queen of wands is. Okay. This person came, came to the realization and the knowledge of this is not what they should be doing. And they walked away they kept it moving and they stopped putting in work with this queen of wands okay with this hair fine here somebody has sat back and really gave their um situation with this with this situation they thought their options through they walked away from this situation they're not putting in any work in this situation no more whereas they may have you know been spending a lot of time with this person you know, going out with this person, maybe buying them, buying them gifts. You know, just put investing their time, their feelings into this person, whoever this Queen of Wands is. All right, but um, they came to the understanding to the to they 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 learned real quick that they would have been walking themselves into a ball of confusion, <laughs> ball of confusion with the Five of Swords here, and they skid out of skid out of skid. Got on that chariot and they drove off and left scratch marks in the cement. They got the hell on away from this situation. Um, this queen of wands have not let it go. They have not let this situation go. They're mad. The energy that I'm getting. This person is mad. They trying to figure out what the hell happened. What the hell? Is this a game? I know what. I just, uh, 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 this can't, they, they can't, they can't accept what it is. All right, what is the energy and the messages of the magician? Sacred ancestors, gods of the cosmos. Calling in the quantum energy of the magician. What is the energy and the messages of the magician? I'm going to come back and do a part two, y'all.